Malaria is a big monster. Half the human population lives under the risk of infection. It infects hundreds of millions of people every year. It is killing fast. It is killing one human being every 30 seconds. Next to tuberculosis and HIV AIDS. Malaria is one of the largest challenges to the developing world. Not only humans can get sick of malaria. It infects reptiles, birds, mammals, including rodents, monkeys, and primates. There are around 200 different species of malaria, five of which can infect humans. Malaria is caused by parasites. These parasites are unicellular. Every parasite is a single living cell, like bacteria, but they are much, much more sophisticated. They are as complicated as a human sperm or egg cell. They even have sexes. There are females. They are males, but mostly asexual forms. Asexual parasites, we call them sporozoites, are transmitted by anophelid mosquitoes during their blood meal. Once in the bloodstream, they find their way to the liver. Inside the liver, they transform. They change their shape. And finally, relief offspring back into the bloodstream. They look different. We call them merozoites. They still have no sex. They find red blood cells and attack them. Within 48 hours, they clone themselves inside the red blood cells until they burst. Then a lot of new parasites are in the bloodstream and they attack further blood cells. There are a lot of parasites in an infection. Up to a thousand billion. That is a huge number. Some of these parasites become males and some females. Only these can transmit malaria. If a mosquito bites again and it swallows male and female parasites, they make love inside the mosquito's gut. The gut wall of the mosquito is the womb of new parasites. They find their way to the mosquito salivary glands. And this mosquito can now spread the disease. We use mathematics to combat malaria. We use mathematics to understand how the mosquito behaves. We use mathematics to explain why diagnostics fail. We use mathematics to understand how different malaria species behave. We use mathematics to help our doctors and public health authorities. We, we use, use mathematics, mathematics against, against malaria. malaria.